another real talk reaction. Y'all know what it is. This is for what we do in the shadows, season three, episode number three. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to keep telling all their friends that the algorithm is out here on these streets lurking. It's working. Thank you. One comment from the last episode. <laughs> from exact or from we don't have any pieces, this month. From Jojo, who says that was actually K K Kayvon. What's his name? The main guy? Kayvon. Kayvon? I don't know. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, you don't know what it is either? It's the main guy? Yeah, Kayvon? Kayvon? I mean, she wrote it down. I just don't know yeah, how Kayvon. to say it. No. Um, doing the voices and everything, which I'm still angry didn't get him an Emmy. So he was doing all, he, it wasn't voiceover. He was literally doing all the voices. Um, not Guillermo. No, the, the main, the, 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 main guy. His, the conqueror. Yeah, but his name. No, is he didn't do um, who? Cause who voice he did on there? I was like, no way, he overdubbed that. He did fucking um, one the the energy vampire. Did he do his voice? There's no way he did his voice. He's, but if he did, holy shit! Go oh ahead. my gosh! And speaking of which, he's on uh. Uh, Better call us out. Which is the greatest thing of all. Yeah, being the exact same. It's literally vampire. the same human. <laughs> is he fun. actually an energy yeah. vampire? Alright. Uh, didn't get him an any nomination because that was awesome. I also really love the weed energy vampire. I loved him so yeah, much. Yeah, that he was, was smart. fantastic. That, that was, was so smart. good. Yeah, that was smart. Um, I've definitely known a few of them in life. That, great that reaction. Was smart. Uh, great reaction. Looking forward to more. Thanks, JoJo. All right, let's jump into the next episode right now. The only one that really is cool. You had to like. Put it in the mail so you can get it developed. No, you gotta take it to Walgreens. Oh, what are you doing? We didn't yeah. have Walgreens. You didn't have Walgreens. Yeah, I got Walgreens. In Indiana? Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's on the corner. Take that shit out the Walgreens. Then you gotta wait and see how many. Yeah, you gotta are wait good. a couple days or whatever. Then go pick them up. Take them like, ooh, that's the one right there. That's that one. Ah, uh, these ain't come out good. Yeah, and then you can't even view them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't watch this. Like, <laughs> Damn, my eyes were closed. Okay, stop them. Oh, but then subtitles on. Nando has taken so to slipping away from the house out yeah, of the house, basically, which is very annoying for me. Because unfortunately, oh, I, I need his help in an extremely it. crucial yeah. task updating the Vampiric Council's website. I don't even know what the website is. I thought there was something to do with spiders. Not to that, huh, guys? Nando's the thing is very odd. She thought it had something to do with spiders, man. Right? But I think I know why. He's been disappearing to the Penny Pornos. Penny Porno is a room in town where men pay a cent to sit next to each other it's and whack off. Well, why would he lie about I wouldn't care. I tell everyone that's where I go. In fact, I've just come back from there. I honestly have no idea where he's been going. There's no oh, pain. Poor I should know where he's at at all times. I'm his bodyguard. Rise and shine. Sleepy. Ah! And that is not Nandor. I honestly have no idea where he's going. So we've decided to follow him. Me personally, I couldn't give a shit where he goes. But I don't want the <laughs> others to think that I'm not down to clown at the drop of a hat. I'm not down to clown. <laughs> Sounds like he's in distress. You better break the door down. No, because it sounds it could be something. Bodyguard, like... break the door down. Okay, everyone stand back. Yeah. <laughs> Bodyguard. Alright guys. Remember okay? I'm inside though right now. Hi guys, nice to see you again. Hey, Thank you. Hi guys. Okay, everyone else. Oh, oh, is that oh. fucking um a girl? Yeah. We're showing him around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the play that's important. I can see Everybody it. Everybody remember this is Gail? Oh, he's been out here getting some. The cat's out the bag. Your boy's in love. Your boy. He's coming over tonight and everything has to be perfect. I have not always been so lucky in love. Of course, there were my 37 wives, but they mostly hated me. Anyway, I had a dry spell for about 200 years. And then I met Gail. We have been what you might call off and on yeah, over yeah. the past 30, 40 years, but I simply uh. cannot keep away. Her hair smells of tropical fruits, oh, a scale of medication. Also. She lounges in t-shirts, sparing the image of musical poet Robert Seeger. 
and a favorite brand of yogurt is strawberry vanilla crunch. Yeah, Mo? Have you still got that mini fridge? Yes, you do. It's my fridge. That's what do you need that What's for? What's all this shit? Black medicine. What's all this shit? Yeah. Refrigerated. It's fine. The doctor said there might be side effects if I don't. Well, he said there's no flake. Why do you need my fridge? What is going on? That's a lot of yogurt. You don't eat yogurt. It's okay. Of course I'm happy for my master, why wouldn't I be? But as his bodyguard, it is my job to personally vet anyone that he spends time with. And that's exactly what I'll do. Nando, we really oh. need to make a decision on this phone. I like her better because it's the name of one of the prostitutes for the donkeys in my village and they are friendly. What do you think? Helvetica? The phone's for the Vampiri Council website. I mean, we could do Franklin Gothic, but it's a bit on the nose. Not now, Badger, please. Dale is coming over tonight. Yeah, I do. We got a yes, we, we, we need it at once. Now, you're taking the risk there, because my wife hates Gail more than anyone in the world. I have no issue with Gail. What I have a problem with is every time her and Nando get back together, she gets his hopes up that he can turn her into a vampire and they can be together for eternity. And then she always says no, and then he always gets heartbroken. It's the same thing over and over again for the past 40 years. It really oh. breaks my heart to see him like this. Oh, all so right, all right, back right my this darling. I mean, we all know you hate the woman. That much is clear. I like her. I may as well tell you. Hey, she like Gail. She's just tired of Gail, Gail being disappointed. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not you, little pervert. It's an engagement for you. I'm going to give it to Gail this evening. Then I'm going to turn her into a vampire. Then we're going to be together for eternity. Mm -hmm. He's been down there for hours, desperately trying to find out what he can about the origin of energy vampires. Between you and Isla, I wouldn't normally spend this much time with him, but I figured the quicker he gets on with it, the quicker he'll shut his mouth. I mean, there's tons of stuff down here about regular vampires, but almost nothing about energy vampires. Have you found anything? Bat! So what am I looking for exactly? I'm not sure. Could take years, though. What the hell is that? What? What? That book. Just a, another book? I... No, 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 no. This particular book. Cornelius Dong's Adventures in... Do this and you didn't tell us! What? I defended that woman against my wife's jealousy. I don't dislike Gayon! But this, we Gayon. are trapped as a bridge too far. <laughs> are you insinuating that I would do it with her while she is in wolf form? Because I did, but I was in bed form. And it was exclusively hen stuff. We are the leaders of the Vampiri Council. How do you think it looks that one of our own is porking our mortal enemy? Guillermo, say something, please! Oh no, don't get me in the middle right, of this. Alright, don't get me in. Whatever makes my master happy. Go right there, Mr. Guillermo. It's not gonna last. Does it not bother you that she strung you along for 40 years on becoming a vampire and the moment a werewolf shows her his lipstick, she lets him turn her into a werewolf? Being a werewolf is not a crime! The only crime that my Gail is guilty of is stealing. Stealing my heart. Oh, no. Come on, guys. No. Come with me and meet her in her clan and we can mingle together. Come see that way we'll say so bad. I know. Thank you, Colin Robinson. Right That's up. one. Let's low. Fine, it's two. Let's go. I know that you have some personal differences with Gail. It's only net oh as a woman. I don't dislike <laughs> her because she's a woman, okay? Okay then, woman, wear woman, whatever. A lot of women these days are leaning into each other. It's like a thing now. This could be you and this could be Gail. I'm not going to do thrust exercises with a dog. Please, for me. Fine, I'll go. No! You know, look, we don't need to cause trouble, we just need to, you know, be nice and non-confrontational. Hi, werewolves! Well, well, it isn't the Anne's family. Um, greetings! <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Sorry about making a jump off the circuit seat. I like that one. Tony! What the hell? Yeah, well, yeah. It's a protocol thing, just not personal. Hello again, hi, nice to meet you. Nacha, you must never approach a werewolf when they're eating. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Uh, can we start again? Yes. Uh, I'm Chad. Uh, you remember Ange? Uh, Dougie? Toby? Hello again, hi, nice to meet you. 
again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Mike, Mike, I knew this Mike. was a bad idea! No, 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 it's a very good idea. Please, guys, I haven't even seen Gail yet. Oh, is that her over there with that werewolf? Anton is a guy that I date sometimes who happens to be a werewolf, and he happened to turn me into a werewolf, too. I'm not super serious with Anton. Guillermo! Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Guillermo de la Cruz, and I'm the official bodyguard of Guillermo de la Cruz. Right there. Not only am I his bodyguard, I am also his heart guard. I'm you should mind something. Yes, Guys, so do we remember to take our heart guard this month? You gotta remember to take your heart guard, or we're gonna get worms. Alright? Oh, Jesus. I always knew we couldn't trust your kind. I always knew we couldn't trust your kind. I always knew we couldn't trust your kind. Yes, and I too always knew. Okay, enough! We get it, nobody trusts each other. The only way to resolve this yeah. is a free for all. To the death! <laughs> no, stop, stop! There's a better way to resolve your differences. Yeah. Twilight style. What's that? It's Twilight The, the style. movie. Twi Twilight. You know what I'm saying. Okay, Twilight. Twilight. We should just play kickball. Kickball. Everyone knows kickball. Everybody knows kickball. I'll take kick your balls. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the snow. They play oh, baseball, babe. The whole night! I'm sure Gail's completely satisfied with your tiny little fat dick. If you're a fat dick, yeah! Nice. I mean, <laughs> this proportion is, totally is quite normal, but it is slightly dingy and ineffective. I mean, it's a bad dick, you know? Is that what I think it is? 
I see a lot. Oh, I'll ride on you anytime, my darling. <laughs> I'll ride on you anytime, my darling. Okay. Take my hand. Lovely. I remember Dick. Let's go now. Is there room for one more? There yes. certainly is. Yes. You're going around the back. You're going around the back. We're going to crack the slow. All right, guys. Everyone, get buckled in. Close the door. Hold on to your butts. Oh, she can really move. Can you hold the hole? Well, there it was. There it was. <laughs> Alright, that was the conclusion of what we do in the shadows, season three, episode three. And um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty entertaining episode right there. Um, nice to see. I, I can't remember her actress name, but Tony Soprano's sister uh, from Sopranos, looking good. Uh, got that weight all the way down to like skinny, skinny mini. Um, so I don't know what role she's trying to do, or that's just a life thing she chose to do. But um, it looked very different as her normal acting self. But she did a great job in here, straight in New York or New Jersey or all day long. Um, I thought the, the the werewolves coming back was good. I thought Colin Robinson and um, um, and Nandor, not Nandor, the other one, Laszlo being together, I thought that worked too. And of course, uh, Guillermo just being the bodyguard now is working for me as well. And again, all the other just hijinks that they continue to do. And they, they, they always try to do something different with the show because these are super power things that's going on. And so I always appreciate that when they do it. So I had a good time with this episode. Very funny and can't wait to see another one. Yeah, I totally agree. I also agree with the callback to uh, Oh Girl or having her as the... What's it called again? <clears throat> Who that? The, the girl from The Sopranos. But what do you call it? A... When when someone like that shows up, it's a what? Oh, um, cameo. Cameo, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I thought she was really good. Um, totally surprised with how much weight she's lost. I haven't seen her. Yeah. I've seen her in Sopranos and like before that. Something else. She, she was, was in, in yeah. um, Sleepers too, which is a movie I've watched 50 million times. Um, but uh, no, I thought she was a great cameo. I love the fact that this is somebody that Nando's been dating for like years now. I love so much too. Um, oh, girl, being defensive in the in the in the sense that she didn't want to see his heart bro getting broken, but everybody just assumed it's just like she doesn't like her. Like that's literally I empathize with that so much because it's like it's not that I don't like her, I don't like what she does to him. Like yeah. I feel like that is definitely something that comes up a lot between girls, which is super annoying. So I like I really <laughs> felt that a lot. I thought they I thought they nailed that on the head. So that was really really good too. Um, and then I, I liked seeing the werewolves back. I didn't see that twist coming that she was a werewolf either, so that was a surprise. Mm -hmm. And then adding, you know, extra elements of, like, them being dogs or werewolves is always funny. But, to me, excuse me, the highlight definitely was, uh, Colin and Laszlo being friends this episode. I thought that was a, a yeah. fun dynamic, yeah. and then both being like, I'm just hanging out with him because I don't want him to be lonely. And, like, they're doing it both for themselves. I love that. And then the whole situation with the car, that they took it all the way apart, and there was, like, a clear, like, button to open the garage. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. made me, uh, crack up. So I, I really had a lot of fun with this episode. I found it very entertaining. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for What We Do in the Shadows, Season 3, Episode Number 3. And until next time, peace.